Here I have the second question from again uh, type 2 where we need to find out the value of n. The question is here if p and 4, uh, here p represents the permutation, permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equal to 20 times permutation of n objects taken 2 at a time, then how can we find out the value of n? No problem, we're going to use again the same formula n p r that is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. All right, the same thing you know, we write like this also p n r. All right. So do not confuse this formula we're going to use every time and let's proceed p and 4 so that that is equals to n factorial divided by n minus 4 factorial and again that is 20 times again p and 2 we can use uh, n divided by n minus 2 factorial cool both side if you see n factorial and factorial is getting cancelled and it's now n minus 2 factorial equals to 20 times n minus 4 factorial and further we have an opportunity my dear friend it's n minus 4 and it's n minus 2 and always n n is bigger than n minus 4 n minus 1 is bigger than n minus 4 n minus 2 is bigger than n minus 4 n minus 3 is bigger than n minus 4 so we can reduce this n minus 2 till this level n minus 4 so it's n minus 2 times n minus times n minus 4 factorial equals to again 20 times n minus 4 factorial now we can cancel them all right we can cancel this n minus 4 and n minus 4 so we're going to get here n minus 2 times n minus 3 equals to 20 and now to further solve it we have two options uh, we can easily just multiply this and we will get the quadratic equation n times n you'll get n squared all right and then you can solve as a quadratic equation and if you want to solve then you can go in a little smarter way also see here n minus 2 and n minus 3 they are conjugative number one after another all right and here we have 20 so how many uh, there are options we have that that producers uh, 20 what are the factors of 20 which are in uh, consecutive also like we can say like 10 times 2 or we can say uh, 5 times 4 or we can say 20 times 1 but among these three which one is consecutive like this is one after another you know like I'm gonna say if this is 10 this is 9 you know like that if this is 9 then this is 8 consecutive you know one after another in reducing form 10 to no consecutive 21 no consecutive 5 4 consecutive all right so n minus 2 times n minus 3 equals to 5 times 4 so therefore from here you can say that n minus 2 equals to 5 just by comparing both sides or you can say n minus 3 equals to 4 so from here also you get 7 uh, and here also from here also you get 7 so from both way you're getting 7 and n equals to 7 I hope you understand it and similar type of lot of questions you have to deal all right